this has to be probably the worst start to a travel day. This has to be probably the worst start to a travel day that I've had. Well, mm, that's a little bit of a stretch. It's definitely not the best, I'll put it that way. We got to the airport with plenty of time. Luckily, we took the earlier train, so we got in like 10 to 8, and my flight is at 10.50, but once we got to the baggage drop-off, the line was insane. I literally waited in that line for an hour, and I wasn't able to like fully finish checking in online for whatever reason. I think because it's an international, they had to verify my passport. So basically, we stood in that line for an hour, paid for the bag, which was no problem. Um, and then once I got to security, it looked like it wasn't going to take very long, but it ended up taking probably another 30 minutes. Um, they ended up taking pretty much every single thing out of both bags, even though I took out more than what I usually do. They still found issues with a tripod, hair straightener, like things I don't usually take out or have to take out, but it's okay. We're here. I have a little bit of time to grab a bite to eat before I have to head to my gate, which they haven't even really announced yet, so I've just gotten to the lounge. Gonna have some breakfast, some water, and then we're gonna hop on the first flight to London. I have to fly Manchester to London, London to Philly, Philly to Buffalo. So it's gonna be a long day. I'm in the Heathrow Airport. I have just stopped into the Aspire Lounge because I have about 40 minutes until I have to board my flight to Philly. So it's a really quick in and out of this lounge, but I wanted a coffee for this long haul flight. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be just under seven hours long, so some coffee, some water. I got a little bit of pasta to eat because I really didn't eat much for breakfast. And I'm gonna head to the gate soon. I don't have much time to relax here, but anyways, it's super busy in this lounge, so. Things are going very well. I waited in line for 
customs, which did take a little bit longer because it was face to face. It wasn't like a machine and there weren't a lot of lanes open. However, I got through and then I asked about my global entry because I had applied for that, which gives me global entry and TSA pre-check. And I was able to do this like enrollment on arrival and this airport is one of the participating airports. So I was able to do that while I went through customs and now I don't need to go to a different location to finish off my interview, which means I should have TSA pre-check and global entry for all of my future travels, which is super, super exciting. I'm on cloud nine, so now I'm just waiting to pick up my bags from the flight and recheck them in, and then I've gotta go through security again, but I do have so much time until my next flight. My next flight's at 9 p.m., so we are, we are relaxed, we're chilled. I'm really confused. So it says the bags are complete, but they are not, they're not on the carousel. The carousel is empty. Problem solved, I found the bags. They were at a different carousel, but now I need to try and find mine because there are so many bags. There is no lounge in this entire airport, even though it's a massive airport. I had to buy something to eat, which is fine. So I ended up getting a sandwich from La Colombe. That's how you pronounce it. And it actually looks really good. It's the Santa Fe chicken Santa Fe sa uh, sandwich. And it looks pretty hefty. Not bad. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna eat this, and just watch some YouTube and wait for the flight to start boarding. I've officially been awake for 23 hours today. one of the longest days and I'm just so so happy to be in my bed <laughs> so I'm gonna get some sleep and we will catch up in the morning <laughs> This morning wide awake no alarm nothing my body just woke up even though I went to bed at like half past 12 last night I have a little bit of a headache just like right here and I honestly think it's just simple dehydration because I literally traveled for how many hours yesterday about 20 ish hours I think it ended up being give or take so it was a very long day changed time zones and I definitely did not drink enough water throughout my travels, so here we are. But I am starting the day with a coffee. I already had like three or four glasses of water, so gonna have my coffee and get started with the day. Got the luggage. I wanna tackle this suitcase ASAP because when I came home from the contract, I put it off for a few days and it definitely bothered me. And honestly, it should not take me much time if I just zone in and do it. So I have packages to open up, which is exciting, but I will not let myself do that until that is sorted. And I'm gonna leave to run some errands with my mom in about 45 minutes. So hopefully we can get this situated in that time. I feel like I can do it. If I could pack the suitcase in 22 minutes, I can unpack in 22 minutes. Maybe not, but we'll see, we'll try. Is that a comfy spot? Coco's gonna help me unpack. Aren't you? Aren't you, little bean? Mm -hmm. 
Let's do it. I did it. Let's check the timer. Well, I would say that's a pretty freaking good time. I am pleased with that. I feel like whenever I unpack, I always get distracted by things in my closet, like things I need to get rid of or just like organization stuff. So I try to just stick to strictly unpacking and it worked out well for me. We are not even gonna talk about my hair. I need to wash it today, but I do wanna get a workout in. So we're gonna throw on a hat for now just to hide what's going on up there. But let's get ready for the day. Alrighty, we are ready to go. I ended up putting my hair in a slick back bun instead of a hat because I'm washing it. I thought I could do a little hair mask. So I use the Bondi Boost Rapid Repair Hair Mask. You only need to keep this in your hair for 10 minutes, but I thought I could just slick it back and keep it in for a while. It would do wonders to my hair. I'm popping in some earrings and then we will be out the door. <laughs> Waiting to be seen. Not the bumpy bank. Oh, the bumpy. Remember the bumpy bank? Don't you remember with Roseanne, the bumpy bank? It would go over. You don't remember that? No. Maybe that was just Brett. The bank that Roseanne used to take you to, her bank. In the oh, back, it went over the speed bump. Yes, the bumpy bank, but I don't remember calling it that. It was right. like a roller coaster in the back. Yeah. It was a woo. Right. We're sitting here waiting to talk to someone. I'm opening a new checking account. Exciting stuff. on track. I am in search of some containers to organize all of my sweatshirts and crew necks and things like that rather than hanging them in my closet. Maybe a couple for under the bed or maybe in the closet. I don't know. The bigger the better for the sweatshirts and then the tees I could use. Yeah but for, for the t-shirts that's probably good but it's so long I don't know where I'm gonna fit it. I don't think that's I might have to get the big one. Thank you. For sweatshirts I need something deeper. One of these probably for the hoodies. And I can just put it on the floor of the closet. I mean bigger the better because then I could fit them all into one. Oh that's massive. I could probably easily fill that though. Oh I guess I could do it that way, yeah. Ooh, grapes. Hey, look who it is! It's the famous Joe Bouth! Hello, fans. I'm so happy to see you again. And Coco's just like, what the oh heck? My God. Coco's chilling. Mom's in her usual habitat making a salad. Of course. Yes. The famous recipe. No, I'm actually not doing the famous. I'm just doing oil and vinegar today. Oh, okay. I'm gonna give you a haul of what I bought because I did end up coming home with a lot more than I thought, but we did. We were planning on going to Aldi for a couple little grocery things, but then we were in Walmart and they have their whole grocery section. We did that instead. Um, first up, I got this big Tupperware for t-shirts, tank tops, and stuff like that to slide under my bed. So it's a little bit more organized because I have it in a container right now, but it literally will not close with the top because there's so many things in there. Then, of course, as I showed you, I got these two Tupperwares. I got a little bit excited on the Easter candy because they were on sale for 50% off. This was not on sale, but I was really excited about this. So I got this three pound bag of Starburst little chocolate eggs. I already opened these because <laughs> I was really interested to try. They're like the trolley gummies, but they're little bunnies instead of the snakes. Oh, and I also got chocolate eggs. So I got a little carried away with the candy, but obviously this will last a very, very, very long time. I probably won't even finish it before I leave for my next thing. Mom was shopping the cosmetics section and she picked up this little body scrub, which smelled so good. So it inspired me to also get one. 
So I got the Tropical Mango Sugar Scrub. For produce, I've got some bell peppers, a little broccoli floret, some grapes, two cucumber, and some bananas. We've got a couple more things. So I got a can of chickpeas, also got a can of black beans, and also some corn. And, and lastly, some chopped walnuts for my little Mediterranean bowl that I like to make. And that's the haul. Really random assortment of things, but you know, not surprising because it's me. Mmm. This by far is the best flavor. So good. I want to get a little afternoon workout in because it's about one o'clock. I typically am a morning workout person. Afternoons just aren't it for me, but so it goes. I'm really excited to work out. It's been about two and a half weeks since I've been able to get like a proper workout in. So really looking forward to it. Thought I could have a little bit of added energy. Definitely not going to drink this whole thing, but I want to have a couple of sips and let it get into my system before I start the workout. As expected, I've come home to a couple packages. So as usual, we're going to open them together because unboxings are always just fun to watch and fun to share. I did order a couple things on Amazon that I'm really excited about, but also some of them I don't know what they are. This one is very hard to get open. My God. Oh, okay. Something I've been wanting to do for literally ever is test out my stomach and like see what foods I'm allergic to or like what I'm sensitive to because I just live with stomach pain. Every day of my life, I'm pretty much always <laughs> in pain no matter what I eat. So I really just want to know what actually... I shouldn't be eating. So eFunctional actually sent me their food sensitivity at home kit. So I'm really, really excited to try this and send in my samples to see what the results come back as. So that can definitely be something we do together and I can keep you updated on the results. I really should invest in some box cutters with the amount of packages I receive. So I have a water filter for the sink which is going to be a game changer because I can bring this with me on contracts so that I have actual good water in the sink. So this is super exciting, but we'll have to try it out obviously at home. Does that mean that I'm getting old if I'm excited about a water filter? You know what I mean? It must mean that. This one's an Amazon package. First up, I have been loving the maxi jean skirt, like denim skirt trend going on, but it's really hard for someone my height because a maxi skirt, especially with denim, is just going to be way, way, way too long on me. So I found this like midi skirt on Amazon and there were quite a few reviews of people my height that said it fit well. I can't wait to try it on. I really like the wash by just initial reaction, but we shall see. The end is like a raw hem, so I could always, I guess, cut it if I really needed to shorten it, but I hope that it's good. Then I also got some new tempered glass screen protectors for my phone because mine needs to be switched out. So this one came with, I think, three or four. I have no idea what this one is. Oh, yeah. I've got a few new bikinis from Burlook. I absolutely love Burlook's swimsuits. I always get compliments whenever I wear them. And they're just really good quality as well. And they're eco-friendly. So they sent me a bunch. I got this little black one, matching bottoms, little triangle suit with these like tie string bottoms, which is really cute. I don't have a lot of bikini bottoms in this style, but I'm trying to expand. I absolutely love a glitter swimsuit. I have one from Burlook in like a turquoise color. So I got this gorgeous like royal blue color. I think the style is so, so, so cute. These are the matching bottoms as well. This suit's by far my favorite of the five. This is such a fun print and it is almost like that terry cloth or almost like towel material. So this is the top. Once again, the little tie string bikini bottoms, but so, so cute. And then the final suit I got is this one. It has a little knot in the front, the corresponding bottoms as well. Those are really cute. I will have those linked and I do have a discount code if you want to shop anything on the site. We've got another Amazon package. This is 
part of the order I made with the skirt. Some socks. <laughs> this is a pack of like 14, no, nine, nine pairs of socks. And then I also got these really cute ruffle socks. I wanted to elevate my styling accessories, if you will. And they're so cute. They look like they're not gonna fit me, but I can assure you they will fit my feet. This I'm especially excited about. I've been thinking about getting this, like I've been debating for a long time now. So I just pulled the trigger and finally did it. It is a flash attachment for my vlog camera because I have the Sony ZV-1 Mark II and this camera is incredible, but it does not have a flash on it like the Canon G7X. So this you can actually just like screw into the top. Let me open it for you. So you just screw it in the top and it gives you a nice little flash. This would also be great for vlogging when it's like a lower lighting. And then I also got a pair of sunglasses. These sunglasses I've been eyeing up for a while as well. I have quite a few pairs of Sojo's sunglasses from Amazon. They're my favorite. They're very affordable, but they just look really expensive. This style in particular just looks so cool on people. I'm hoping that it looks cool on me as well. These are the little sunnies. There's like a gold band on the side. Yeah, I love them. Absolutely love these. I feel like this is gonna elevate my outfit game for sure. And then last but not least, we have, well, we have two more boxes, but this box right here is a massive Princess Polly haul. So that is going to be a separate video in itself. This is a box from Merit. So I've got two of their signature lips, one in the shade Classic and one in the shade Power. The packaging is so sleek. Like I'm obsessed. Merit is one of my favorite makeup brands and just look at how gorgeous that color is. So that was Power. And then this is the classic, which is like a really pretty nudie pink color. And we are going out to dinner this evening. So I think I'm gonna wear one of these. But once I pick the outfit, I will decide which one. So that is everything. I think that was a pretty, pretty decent haul. I'll have everything linked for you. But now I need to change into some workout clothes and get my body moving. here but I really want to test my light and see what it does <sighs> this light is insane I finished the workout I feel unbelievable there is no better feeling than getting a good sweat in like working out after you haven't been able to for a couple weeks just hits different I'm so happy that I'm getting into a routine now I mean as amazing as my trip was which I don't regret a single thing. It's always nice to come back home after, you know, being away for a while and get back into a good routine of eating healthy, working out and all of that. So I feel amazing. I did 10 minutes on the spin bike just to warm up and get my blood pumping. And then I did a full body sort of weight circuit. I did a combination of lower body and upper body for about probably 30 minutes. And in total, I burned 348 calories. I feel incredible definitely sweaty and need to shower and I wanted to test out the light if you can tell how good the freaking lighting is I'm using that flash attachment that I just got from Amazon and I'm obsessed like this lighting is insane because it's a bit gloomy outside and I don't have any lights on in my room right now but you would never even know that I've just received some really really exciting news 
I literally cannot believe that this opportunity just fell into my lap and I like I don't know, even know what to say. I can't say anything about it right now. I'm gonna try and figure out the logistics of how it's all gonna work out but I'm like freaking out. This is so 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 exciting. I promise I will circle back on that but for now it's time to head to dinner. I'm headed out to dinner with my parents and all of my uncles on my mom's side so all of my mom's brothers. It's gonna be really nice. They don't know I'm coming so it's gonna be a little surprise. I did diffuse my hair. It turned out decent just not brilliantly. It's a casual dinner so time to head there now. Dinner was really, really fun. I'm super happy that I went and got to spend the time with my family, but I am gonna end the vlog here because I have a lot of editing to do for the rest of the evening. I'm literally just gonna be working on my laptop, but I hope you guys enjoyed traveling home with me and seeing my first full day home. Definitely do not wanna miss my next video because I will be announcing some exciting news. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.